Hello there, this is Dango1867, hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tikidi Boo and on the screen is an African Cup of Nations inspired Senegalese side, such a good side as well. Uh, the only letdown in this was Kamara, the uh, bronze keeper, to be honest he is the worst keeper I've used by a country mile but there are oh, no other Senegalese keepers in the game sadly so he got the nod. Sissoko at the right back position is really actually quite good. Good pace and he's a good physical, gets up and down really well. Uh, I did enjoy using him. And on to uh, the inform Djibolji. Uh, so solid. One of the best center outs I've used on that, especially from uh, the French League. Uh, if you can use him, use him. He's so good in the air and he's got bags of pace as well. Uh, go check him out. Uh, we have Sane as the uh, the other center outs. He's quick, he's cheap. He's good in the air. Both of those two centre-halves do not lose headers to, unless you are going up against Giants, they won't lose a header ever. Such a good combination as the two centre-halves. We had Suare as the left-back. He is very, very good, similar to the right-back. Got lots of pace and he is good going forward and pretty good in the tackle. A, a solid left-back as there is for a silver. You can't really fault it for the money. Uh, we had Sogu as the right midfielder. He's dirt cheap and he has absolutely bags of pace. I did enjoy using him. Got me free assists as well. Uh, he was really good going forward. Uh, great dribbling as well despite his uh, only three star skills. Uh, I did enjoy using him quite a lot. We have got the in form, we have got Guye. Uh, he's uh, in the midfield, central midfield position. He's a much better, in my opinion, probably as a cam. His shooting is well underrated at 50 yard. Um, he scored me some really good goals. His shooting was immense, and he's so good going forward, despite his stats saying otherwise. I was really surprised with him. Uh, if you can use him as a cam, he's absolutely a beast. Diame is very much overpriced but he is very much OP one of the best silver central midfielders you can get in the BPL and he does everything well such a solid solid central midfielder He's grafter passer tackler he does everything well we have the informed Sal um, pretty much similar to I've used when he's used his original card he's not particularly that much better uh, he's good on the ball and his stats say he should be better but for me I've never really got the best out of him and that's his inform and his standard cards which is a bit disappointing because uh, I really think on paper he should be a lot better We've got Diouf as the first of the strikers. He's very much OP. Uh, got a few goals and a couple of assists as well. And that's mainly down to his strike partner in this occasion. Uh, because his strike partner in this one is Bar. Demba Bar. He is a beast. It's like playing with the incredible Hulk up front. He wins everything in the air. He muscles defenders and he finishes everything that gets in around about the 10 yards area. So let's get straight on to the highlights. Here we are, the keeper actually making a bit of a save there, which is a surprising one because pretty much every time something went near him, he did sort of fumble it, but he did make a couple of saves, bless him. He is on here, Browns, you can't really fault him that much. And then we have got Sugo coming through there and getting a goal. Uh, there were a few disconnections on this, so the stats aren't all up to date. We've got Guillet here with a lovely finish from outside of the area. He's got, he's got less than 60 shooting. Look at that for a finish, though. So, so good. We've got Demba Barre shooting to Duf, and Duf actually finishes with ease. He's very much OP. There's a lot of really cheap OP BPL players this year, and he is definitely up there with the best of them. He got Duf again, cutting inside and finishing. They did work really well, like I say. And Jemba Bar, look at that for a finish. Absolutely first time volley. And again, using his strength, holding it off, and an absolute beast finish. He's not going to run away from people, but if he gets a long side of centre half, he'll do like he did here. Look at that, muscle the centre half. Sapped in into an open net. Absolute beautiful. I, I guess the guy uh, was crying after that. Lovely in the air. Like I say, he will win those headers. And again, look at that for chest control and finish. It just doesn't happen. I've never seen a player do that on FIFA other than Jemba Bai. He doesn't head him usually. He just chests it down and volleys it in. I've been Dango. I hope you've enjoyed the squad builder. Catch you all later.